So one of the other things we've heard a lot about is the potential with these new mRNA vaccines to develop uh, variant specific shots, in this case, an Omicron specific shot. What's the likelihood do you think that we will need one? I think Pfizer said it could have one ready by March. Uh, and more important almost, what would the metrics for deciding that be? What would the regulatory process be to bring an, a, a vaccine or a variant specific vaccine to market? Well, let's take each of those questions one at a time. The answer is we are well prepared in the in, in the context of the pharmaceutical companies to be able to make variant specific uh, vaccines in a very timely fashion. That's one of the real advantages, particularly of the mRNA platform, in that you can uh, have a great deal of flexibility in adjusting what the vaccine uh, immunogen is in the platform. So. That's the good news. We may not need it, but we are prepared for the eventuality that we might need it. And when I say need it, I mean a variant, in this case, Omicron-specific vaccine boost. It is conceivable that the boost against the original vaccine will get the levels of protection high enough that it will spill over into protection against the new variants. We know that that's a likelihood because remember, the original vaccine that we made was against the ancestral Wuhan strain. And yet, when you get a high degree of immune response, it spills over into alpha, beta, and delta, so that we know you don't absolutely need variant-specific boosts for new variants. We might. And if we do, we're well prepared. And you're right, it will likely take until March before they get everything revved up to be able to be producing it in large amounts. You ask about the regulatory requirements. You know, I don't want to step ahead of the FDA about what they would do, but I think in broad contextual terms, if the level of protection with the boosts against the original uh, uh, ancestral strain goes low enough, and whatever that cutoff point is, that'll be up to the FDA whether that's below 50% or what have you, then it is likely we will need to at least look seriously at a variant specific boost. But I hope we don't need that. I hope we can continue to elevate the response by boosting with the original vaccine.